what is the managerial cost of machine learning processes and what is the managerial cost of uh, putting together an artificial intelligence solution. You know, I've done a lot of interviews on this very topic. We had CEOs of companies that um, uh, really explained uh, this concept that uh, AI solutions are very different, intrinsically different from other solutions. And uh, today what I want to do is uh, I want to go into a publications from uh, Google that has addressed this very point. And uh, they basically say that developing an AI system uh, intrinsically increases the what's called the technical debt. So you, you try to do something quickly and you neglect a number of variables that over time uh, they're gonna cost you in terms of maintenance. So why is this important? It's very important because uh, I've seen it over and over and over and over. This is one of the key problems with uh, AI systems in all kinds of companies, even for startups, uh, medium companies and large companies. For startups, kind of the investors do not fully have visibility in this and, and they underestimate how much money they have to put in the company. For large companies, uh, it's kind of the same, the managers do not have visibility in this. So let's go and, and take a look uh, really close to what uh, these factors are and, and we're going to talk about a few examples and then we're going to conclude with a few tips and uh, recipes. So the first idea that determines the fact that uh, machine learning systems have a particular particular cost of maintenance is their sensitivity to the changing inputs. So typically they've been uh, trained, they've been uh, optimized for a certain type of uh, variables that has to come in and then you have, suppose you have two inputs and the, and the machine is going to take a decision. We we'll do this on that. It's a dog or it's a cat. But over time these inputs might change. The, their statistical distribution might change. Uh, their, um, size might, might increase and then when that happens uh, basically the system starts to respond in a different way and if you have not the ability to measure this basically we will witness a degradation of the system without you know it. If that is a system for example that is making money or is saving money that's a big problem. The other thing is what's called the cascade effect. Very often what happens even in middle science companies is that each algorithm doesn't work alone. It's usually parts of a sequence of algorithms that do many things. So now suppose that you change slightly one because you want to address a new problem, a slightly different problem. So there is a kind of a cascade effect that can make, that can make the entire solution unstable. That also turns into the necessity of monitoring over time these systems. It might be retraining, reassemble them again. The servicing that is necessary for this type of systems then is relevant. And so this increases also the cost. So another technical uh, reason is when in, this happens in large companies, especially if you know you're serving a lot of users within the company. You might have users that you don't know that they're using that uh, service and they critically depend on this service and then maybe something changed on, on your service and your machine learning system is evolving over time and, and then you get to damage them in a way that you didn't know and therefore you have to monitoring all these situations that are very difficult to monitor. So there are um, other type of uh, situations like this. So for example, the situation where you already know that you have unstable data and data that you know they change over time. This is a situation where you already know this, it doesn't happen without you knowing it, but uh, it needs to be factored in at the beginning of the system design. There are lots more factors. One that uh, particularly I am interesting to mention here is uh, the concept of uh, feedback bias. So for uh, lots of machine learning systems, they learn over time, okay? But learning over time it means that data that are produced over time gets retro feedback, the algorithm gets retrained again, so it's this process of teaching a baby uh, doing something, so it gets retrained again, and then theoretically gets improved. But the problem is, that because the algorithm is producing the data in a way, then it's also biasing the data. And so what you can end up doing is that over time you have a system that, that uh, responds only to certain users or to certain use cases and start to neglect other ones. So this is typical, for example, problems like this can happen in search engines, can happen in recommendations and personalizations um, type of systems. Those systems are very sensitive to these situations. Another more complicated situation, this is really for the large companies, is when you have, for example, on the user interface, you have two different AI solutions that are controlling two different user experiences and they might affect each other. So basically, 
basically one can bias the other one and vice versa and you don't know that this is happening and over time this brings to the degradation of the performance of the system and so you have to investigate all these things and it's really complicated especially when these changes happen over one or two years time scale and the people have changed it and all uh, needs to be documented so what, what we can learn I think uh, Obviously, this is in the domain of engineering, but I really believe that a manager should have at least a vision of this. He should uh, engage the data scientists and the engineers in a continuing discussion and conversation and find out all these dependencies and analyze where these criticalities are. So I would say measure, 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 measure. If you are an AI type of manager, probably the biggest thing that you're going to do to be successful is measure, measure, measure. Now, it's all about the mindset. If you're gonna get the right mindset, click on the link and take my course. Thank you so much, I'll see you at the next episode.